Mrs. Anderson, yes. you have been teaching high school special education for the past two, three years. This is my fourth. This is your fourth yeah. year. Time flies. What's yeah. been the number one problem that you've faced? Or How about this? We've talked about one of the challenges that you face is knowing exactly what the kids need to learn, right. especially in the areas of math and reading. Yes. So the districts adopted FastBridge. Yep. Tell me what you've accomplished so far with FastBridge. So what we've done so far is we have taken the math and reading, um, the A math or the A reading tests. And <clears throat> it was pretty quick and easy. Um, each student, for the most part, got either the math done in one class hour or the English done in one class hour. It was pretty easy to navigate. Um, the hope is that we can start using that data to be able to identify what those students actually need, like what what are their learning gaps, and is that something that we can address in the classroom? Um, hopefully, ideally. And <clears throat> part of the big struggle in special ed that I have, at least I'm sure most special ed teachers do have, is what do I teach? How do I know where the skills are of my students? Like, we're supposed to align their IEP goals to uh, the state standards at grade level, but like, do they even have those skills to, even if I write a goal that can kind of be grade level, do they have the skills to, to get there? And so that's part of the problem is I'm like, well, I have a lot of good stuff that we're doing, but is it the right good stuff? Yep. Um, that's my biggest struggle. So you're feeling pretty optimistic and hopeful with the adoption of the Fast Bridge to help you be better able to identify learning targets for your students. Yes, because one one barrier too that um, that we have with the seventh and well, the seventh or twelfth, we have a lot of families that just choose no. I don't want to take the MCAs. Yeah. So then that's one more data point that we don't have for a lot of our kids and um and then it's like okay well maybe we have to wait till the three-year re-evaluation for special ed to get some of that data whereas like <clears throat> obviously i'm monitoring their abilities of what we're doing in class but do i know that that's really where their ability level is right so it's hard to know if i'm meeting that well, I think FastBridge will definitely answer some of those questions. So, mm -hmm. well, good deal. Thank you for your time. Yes, thanks.